Does using a sauna really lower testosterone levels? Well, that's what we'll uncover in today's video and we'll dive deep into how sauna usage may in fact lower testosterone and affect male fertility. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology. And if you've been enjoying these videos, please like the video and hit subscribe to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research. So in this video, what I'm going to do is look at the benefits of sauna usage, how sauna usage may actually lower testosterone and fertility, and what can be done to offset this negative effect. And then finally, we'll dive deep into why it's absolutely crucial to have a pre, during, and post sauna protocol. So here's why I'm a massive fan of sauna usage. Now, we know that sauna usage is associated with longer lifespan and better health span. And so what I'm gonna do is outline the major benefits associated with regular sauna usage. So first of all, we know that sauna usage is great for relaxation and stress relief. Sauna sessions can promote relaxation, reduce stress and provide a calming effect. Now the heat and the quiet environment of a sauna can help the body to both relax and provide a therapeutic effect. In addition, we know that sauna usage can improve cardiovascular function and sauna usage can increase heart rate acutely but lower resting heart rate long-term. It can enhance circulation, dilate blood vessels, and this can lead to improved cardiovascular function, including lowered blood pressure and increased oxygen delivery to muscles and tissues. In addition, sauna usage is known to promote sweating and detoxification. Now, this is perhaps one of the number one benefits of sauna usage is for its ability to help the body to detoxify heavy metals and toxins. And so obviously the skin is our largest organ. And so by promoting sweat production, we can detoxify these heavy metals and toxins from our body through the sweat. In addition, sauna usage can help with muscular relaxation and pain relief. Now the heat in a sauna can help relax muscles, relieve tension and alleviate muscular aches and pains. And sauna sessions can be particularly beneficial for individuals with conditions such as arthritis, fibromyalgia, and or muscle soreness. In addition, we know that sauna usage can help with respiratory function. So the warm, humid air in saunas can actually help to open up the airways of the lungs and promote better respiratory function and also provide relief for individuals with respiratory conditions such as asthma and bronchitis. In addition, we know that sauna usage can help with the immune system. Now, obviously, this is super important in the context of the virus. Um, we know that sauna usage can help with increasing white blood cell activity and regular sauna usage can help improve the overall immune system and reduce the frequency of common illnesses or common colds. From the mental well-being aspect, sauna usage can contribute to mental well-being by promoting relaxation, reducing stress, and improving sleep quality. And then finally, we know that sauna usage can actually aid with exercise recovery, and sauna usage may aid in post-exercise recovery by reducing muscle soreness, promoting relaxation, supporting growth hormone production, and improving blood flow to damaged tissues. Hey guys, if you're watching this video right now and want to unlock your full mental and physical potential, then the Limitless course is for you. Unlock my best biohacks for energy, motivation, and testosterone optimization so that you can conquer your goals with ease and crush every day with confidence. Click the link in the description and get it now for only $27 today. All right, now let's get straight back into the video. So how might sauna usage actually lower testosterone? Well, sauna use can potentially lower testosterone levels in men through several proposed mechanisms. Now, here are a few explanations. Number one, and first and foremost, the most obvious one is the increased testicular temperature. Now, sauna sessions involve exposure to high temperatures, which can elevate the temperature of the testes, and the testes require a slightly lower temperature than the rest of the body for optimal sperm production and testosterone synthesis. Now, prolonged or frequent exposure to these high temperatures can disrupt this balance and temporarily reduce testosterone production and adversely affect sperm count, sperm motility, and sperm viability. Now, in addition, another pathway that is known to potentially lower testosterone is the heat-induced stress response. Now, heat stress activates the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis or the HPA axis, 
which plays a crucial role in regulating hormonal production in the body. Now, this activation can lead to increased cortisol release, which is a stress hormone that can suppress the secretion of luteinizing hormone. Now, obviously, now luteinizing hormone is responsible for, uh, for actually stimulating the production of testosterone in the testes. And so elevated cortisol levels and reduced luteinizing hormones can consequently result in lower testosterone. Now, in addition, we know that sauna usage can have an effect, a direct effect on the testicular cells, the Leydig cells in the testes. And these Leydig cells are responsible for producing testosterone and heat exposure such as that experienced in saunas can affect the functioning of these Leydig cells and reduce their ability to produce testosterone. Now, studies have shown that heat stress can lead to the accumulation of lipids in Leydig cells, impairing their function and testosterone synthesis. Now, it's really important to note that the decrease in testosterone due to sauna usage is generally only temporary and is definitely reversible. Now, ultimately, what I want to outline here is that there is a way to counteract the testicular heat, and that is by using the ice pack or a jetpack ice pack and applying that directly up against the underwear where your testes hang to prevent testicular overheating. And so this is a powerful strategy to offset the damaging effects of heat exposure on the testes. And this is a reason why I'm a massive fan of using an ice pack in a sauna, despite looking like a crazy person, um, using the sauna, using a, an ice pack in the sauna is actually, you know, one of the best strategies that men can incorporate to, you know, attain all of the benefits of sauna usage without it compromising testosterone production and fertility. So how might sauna usage make men lazier? Well, this is due to the dehydration that occurs following sauna usage, and there is an increase in prolactin during dehydrated states. And perhaps the rise in growth hormone may also lead to an increase in prolactin. And when prolactin increases, that can put the handbrakes on testosterone production. And so this may be a potential mechanism for which how some men feel lazier or more fatigued the day after they use a sauna. Um, so this is something to really keep in mind and something that we need to really consider. Now, looking at how heat stress can damage sperm and affect fertility in men, these studies here were quite fascinating. This first study was titled Semen Quality and Potential Risk Factors Among Danish Couples Planning Their First Pregnancy. And this study examined various factors influencing male fertility, including, including sauna or hot tub use. And it found that frequent use of saunas or hot tubs more than once per week was associated with a lower sperm concentration and total sperm count. This next study here was titled Effect of Sauna Baths on Spermatozoa. And this small study evaluated the immediate effects of sauna baths on sperm parameters in healthy men. And it observed a significant decrease in sperm motility and a trend towards decreased sperm concentration after sauna exposure. This next study here was titled Effects of Sauna on Sperm Movement Characteristics of Normal Men Measured by Computer Assisted Sperm Analysis. And in this study, men were exposed to a single sauna session and their sperm movement characteristics were evaluated and the results showed a decrease in sperm motility immediately after sauna exposure, but the effect was transient and motility returned to normal within a few days. This next study here was titled Sauna-induced rapid weight loss decreases explosive power in women, but not in men. Now, although this study does not specifically focus on fertility, it actually highlights the potential impact of sauna-induced heat stress on physiological parameters. And it found that sauna-induced rapid weight loss negatively affected explosive power in women, but not in men, suggesting potential sex-specific responses to heat exposure. Now, Ultimately, as you've learned throughout this video, sauna usage is associated with many benefits in men and women. And the best strategy to overcome the potential dangers in terms of it affecting testosterone and lowering fertility is to use the ice pack in the sauna. I know you might look like a crazy man, you know, packing an ice pack into the sauna if you go to public saunas, but it really is a powerful strategy to overcome and counteract this negative effect um, so do be sure to check out the link to purchase that Jetpack ice pack. You'll see that linked down below in the video description to use the exact ice pack that I recommend for most men. And if you want to learn more about a pre, during, and post sauna protocol, be sure to check on my channel. I do have another video 
It's an 11 minute video that goes through specific sauna protocol for detoxification. Um, so that goes through specific supplements to use pre, during and post sauna usage. And otherwise, if this video was helpful, please do like the video and please do share the video around as it does help with growing my channel. And please do leave a comment down below to share your experiences using the sauna as it does help with the YouTube algorithm. Otherwise, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.